Hey, how are you guys? Thanks for visiting the Movies Recap channel. I'll be showing you Antlers, a supernatural horror movie, today. Spoilers ahead. Take care. In Oregon, a tiny, remote hamlet, Frank, and his partner are operating a meth lab out of an abandoned mine. In order to check on his son Aiden, who is outside and wandering the neighborhood, Dad exits the mine. He instructs his son to wait for them inside the truck. Aiden informs his father that he overheard something peculiar, his father, though, retorts that they are the only ones working. His father forbids him from entering, despite his desire to do so. When Frank hears a low growl, he goes into the abandoned mine but ignores it. His sidekick is there, working in the lab. They suddenly hear a low growl and shriek in the distance as they are working. Frank believes it is derived from an animal. So his buddy prepares his revolver while they investigate the source of the noise. As they enter the inner mine, the noise becomes louder. His accomplice advises Frank that they should go, but he refuses. An unknown thing appears out of nowhere and strikes them. His associate shoots it with a gun and orders Frank to flee for his life. Aiden senses something is awry and follows his father inside. Lucas, Frank's other kid, enters his class three weeks later. Julia, his teacher, questions him about myths and tales, but he refuses to respond. He is uneasy because his classmates are bullying him. When the bell rings, the lesson is cut short. Lucas searches his suitcase and discovers a strange plush toy placed there by the bullies. Lucas explores the town after class. He picks up a stone and kills a little animal on his way home. Later, he approaches and opens a door that is heavily locked. Julia opens an antique piano and recalls her strange childhood, where she was hidden under the stairs, her fantasy is cut short when his sheriff brother, Paul, comes. When he notices Julia staring at the piano, he asks if she wants to move it out of the house, but Julia declines. She then takes down some of her family photos from the wall. Lucas is alone in his room that night, staring at a photograph of his family. He takes the strange plush animal that his bully's classmates put inside his bag and angrily rips off its head. He is startled to hear a noise coming from the locked door. The banging continues as a man calls. His father, Frank, and brother Aiden are standing behind the closed door. Julia returns to school the next day and resumes her interrupted mythology class. She asks Lucas to tell her his story, but the bully mocks him. Lucas is still persuaded by Julia, so he stands up and reads it. The plot revolves around three bears who live in a gloomy and rainy cave. The big bear used to look after the little bears, but it became ill and its insides went black. Then, one day, the tiny bear returns home and notices that the large bear and baby bear have changed appearances. When they don't have meat to eat, their position worsens and they become angry. In the final section of his story, he notes that despite everything, they still have each other. Julia loves Lucas' art, but she appears concerned because of the terrible images he sketches. The bully leader is enraged after school. After witnessing the head of the strange stinky stuffed toy inside his bag. So he beats Lucas in front of his classmates, and Lucas pleads for help, but no one comes to his aid. Fortunately, Julia arrives and calms things down. Lucas is brought to the clinic, where doctors notice scratches on his back. She finds Lucas' address and phone number on the paperwork and calls, but no one answers. The camera focuses on a small hole in the door that displays Frank's enraged eyes as he bangs on the door when the phone rings at Lucas' residence. Julia is concerned by Lucas' actions and decides to follow him after school. She notices him eyeing at an ice cream shop and invites him inside to eat. She gains the boy's trust after revealing that they both lost their mothers when they were 12 years old. Unfortunately, his mood shifts abruptly when she inquires about his brother and father. He bids her farewell and urges her not to follow him any longer. Lucas seemed to be concealing something that he does not want Julia to uncover. Lucas exits the restaurant and picks up the dead animals again, while Julia follows him home uninvited. Julia hears a snarl as she approaches the door. When Frank sees Julia, he continues to knock on the door. 
She is terrified, so she dashes to her car and drives away. While she is connecting Lucas torn scary drawing in her house, her brother Paul interrupts her, which surprises her. Julia tells him he has every right to be angry at her for abandoning him when they were kids. They had an aggressive, mentally ill, alcoholic father, which is why Julia flees. She had just returned home after their father committed suicide. Lucas slices the dead animal and places it on the food tray before heading upstairs with a flashlight on his head. When his father, Frank, grabs the food tray and instructs him to leave, he drops it on the floor. Aiden, his younger brother, then approaches him and eats. Lucas rushes downstairs and closes the door as Frank begins to snarl. After that, he drapes a tiny bag from the doorknob. Frank and Aiden appear to be possessed by evil spirits. They now live in the dark and feed on blooded meat. Julia recalls her father's mistreatment of her when she was a child while playing the piano. When Paul arrives, she comes to her senses. She asks him whether he knows Frank, who she believes abuses his son. Paul knows Frank well since he constantly comes to his aid when he overdoses. Julia believes Frank should go to jail, but the social workers oppose it because no one will care for his children now that their mother has died. Lucas creates unsettling images at home. Aiden calls and expresses his hunger, but Lucas simply puts on headphones and clutches a baby doll. When he goes to the woodland in the morning to make a trap, he is startled to see an elderly man with a rifle staring at a decaying corpse. He becomes terrified and flees the scene. Julia reads a book on deadly spirits at school before inspecting Lucas' scary pictures. She shows the drawings to the principal and asks her to go to Lucas' house since she believes he is being abused by his father. The principal informs her that they are powerless to act at this time due to a lack of evidence. Julia walks into a store and runs into Paul, who informs her that a man's body was discovered in the woods and that some of his body parts were discovered in the meth lab. They believe he was killed by a bear or cougar. In truth, the deceased is Frank's accomplice. Due to the state of the body, they are unable to ascertain the cause of death. They are concerned, however, after seeing tooth marks on the radial bones, which they believe were made by a person. Meanwhile, Lucas visits his brother upstairs and feeds him cookies. Aiden spits black liquid out, while their father continues to growl. Lucas rushes away, terrified. The principal later visits Lucas' home because she is concerned about what Julia has told her. She looks around the house. She enters through the back entrance and searches for Frank. When she hears Aiden's cries, she opens the locked door and walks upstairs. She is taken aback to discover Aiden sitting on the floor. Frank suddenly appears from behind her and devours her alive. Antlers then sprouted from his malformed physique. Paul and his colleagues, on the other hand, inspect the mine where they discover Frank's accomplice's other body parts. They enter the mine and notice little sacks hanging from the ceiling and antlers on the ground, both of which they had never seen before. When Paul and his colleagues receive a radio report of a missing person, they rush out of there. Later that day, while strolling alone in the forest, Lucas hears creatures shrieking in the distance. He follows the noise and is taken aback to see the bully leader. He was hurling insults at Lucas when they heard a snarl. They glance up to see a horned creature leap from the tree and kill the bully leader in an instant. Lucas is fleeing for his life. He comes home panting and notices a visitor's automobile. When he gets upstairs, he discovers blood on the floor, which leads him to the broken window. Because his father and brother are both missing, he covers the automobile and wipes the blood to conceal the reality. Later, Paul and a friend go to Lucas' residence for a check. They knocked but received no response. They leave, believing that no one is present. It is revealed that Frank previously attacked the bully leader and has now transformed into an evil horned monstrosity. Paul arrives at school to investigate the disappearance of the bully leaders. They're all in the dark, but Julia knows it's not a coincidence, and Frank has something to do with it. As a result, she rushes to Lucas' house and discovers the principal's automobile. Soon later, the police conduct an investigation and discover the principal's body.
They also come to another burnt and flayed body, which they believe is Frank's. While the cops are investigating, Lucas arrives, and Julia takes him to the hospital. According to the doctor, he is dehydrated and malnourished. Despite Paul's objections, Julia resolves to care for Lucas. Lucas recalls the day his father returns home from the meth lab while in the hospital. Frank vomits black blood and changes appearance. He requests that Lucas and Aiden keep him locked up at all costs because he is severely sick. Lucas informs his father one day that Aiden is also ill. As a result, he opens the door and pulls Aiden inside. Lucas is disturbed by the state of his father and only brother, yet he is powerless to help them. When his father bangs his head on the door, all he can do is scream. Back in the present, Julia and Paul show Lucas artwork to an elderly man, who also sees Frank's accomplice's dead body in the forest. He says that Lucas' drawing and the antlers they observe in the mine are the work of a Wendigo, a devilish evil that devours humans. During a harsh winter, a lost hunter's overwhelming hunger drove him to cannibalism, according to tradition. After ingesting human flesh, he loses his sanity and transforms into a formless spirit that roams the jungle in search of new victims. Paul refuses to believe it because it is a myth, but Julia is convinced. On their way home, Paul receives word that a dead corpse has been discovered near the railroad tracks, so they rush there. He is taken aback when he discovers that the half-eaten body belongs to his sister's pupil, who harassed Lucas. Julia waits for Paul outside the automobile near the crime scene. He still doesn't believe that the murders of the people are connected, but Julia's belief remains intact, so she asks her brother to pick up Lucas from the hospital and bring him to their house since she believes he is in danger as well. Following that, Paul requests that his acquaintance visit his home to check on his sister and Lucas. Lucas and Julia discuss their families at home. She reveals that her father committed suicide not long ago. She also informs Lucas that his father has died, however, Lucas does not believe her and says that it was his old father who was sick and harsh, now, his new father is with Aiden, and they will soon collect him for a reunion. Meanwhile, Paul's acquaintance walks about the home, listening for screeches. As the screeching continues, he walks to the back of the home. Julia and Lucas both hear the unsettling noise. Lucas claims that his father is already waiting for him. When Paul's acquaintance informs him that there is something in the shed, he walks inside and discovers Aiden hidden inside a little box. Frank, who is possessed by a Wendigo, kills him quickly. Paul returns home later and searches the shed, only to discover his acquaintance's body. He sees Aiden, but Frank, who is possessed, throws him away. He climbs up and hides on the wall, but Frank attacks him again. Julia enters the shed and discovers Paul unconscious. She tries to relocate Paul and bandages his wounds. She drives all the way to the mine to save Lucas, his injured brother in the passenger seat. She bravely enters the mine, where she finds Lucas and Aiden. Lucas tells her she must leave. While looking around, she notices Frank who is possessed by a Wendigo, eating a dead black bear. She fights it and eventually kills it with the assistance of Lucas. Unfortunately, the Wendigo spirit enters Aiden. Lucas tries to stop Julia from murdering his brother, but she informs him flatly that he will never recover. She urges Lucas to turn away, then cuddles Aiden before stabbing him in the back to break the curse. Julia and her brother Paul eventually decide to keep Lucas with them in the meanwhile, despite their fears that he will become possessed as well. However, as Julia and Lucas walk away, Paul starts coughing and spitting black liquid, just like Frank and Aiden did when the Wendigo first possessed them. This is the Movies Recap Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.